Community College here. Once again, uh, a little bit of a struggle here for us. We're trying to bring the game to you as best we possibly can. As Devin Waltz is at the plate with a one and two count. Jay Claire on first. Waltz tried to get that bunt down and was unable to. And he was the out of the inning. So now Mother Cell will step up with Claire. Number 16, right fielder, Trevor Mother Cell. I think that that pitch. Uh, it looked like it looked like uh, Devin Welch was trying to pull the uh, the bunt back, but that pitch was a little low. He, unfortunately, strike three was called. Mother still fouls that first one back, 0 and 1. Come on, one six, let's go! Good! Oh, over there by Chesari over the first base. Claire slides back in safely. Another stop, Jake! Let's go, Trevor! What a good guy he is. He was a good ball player. Oh, yeah. that one the other way and falls into a big hit. And a scrappy base hit from there from uh, from Mr. Mother Cell himself. The sportsmanship of it on the floor, as we found out at the beginning of this ball game, and a big base hit there with one out. Runners on first and second for. I pull the ball a lot, Jimmy Root. I pull the ball all the time, Jimmy Root. Yeah, I, I probably should have said all the time. I apologize. We were talking about that with Jimmy earlier today, and uh, Jimmy likes pulling the ball quite a bit. Let's see if he can rip a rip a base hit here for Geneseo in a much needed situation to get that insurance run from second base in for the Devils. Wow. So the first and second, Root swings through that hey, one, Jimmy. Oh one. And right now, Root is playing through some pain in his back. He uh, did a little bit of a twisting motion against Pavilion earlier on in the season. He's been in some pain since, and it reacted. It uh, was reactivated against Portville, and a miscue. Shortstop will go to third base. They will get the lead runner there. The runners now up uh, will stay at first and second with the lead runner. Number 12, uh, the catcher, Corey Valentine. And a miscue there. Claire thought that there was just a runner on second. That was himself and not a runner on first. That was a forced play, so Claire had to run. and. Unfortunately, he, he hesitated at first, realized he had to run, and kind of came back, but wasn't able to uh, get to first in time. And with the Blue Devils up 2-1 to one right now, they need another run with Corey Valentine at the plate. He can deliver with a runner in scoring position. So Valentine up, takes a ball, 1-0. And Valentine right now is, you know, is, uh, I believe Jimmy Root said today, Corey, I want you to be my Valentine. It's, he's been making up nicknames for everybody. Corey can be really, really selective here with the pitch he swings at. And Voorheesville, Voorheesville coach Kyle Tursky is absolutely losing his mind saying that Trevor Mothersell did not attempt to avoid contact and the Voorheesville catcher right now is, that is uh, Jared Pejo is very upset about that and Please do not leave any personal objects in the and stands. Thank you. We're going to find out what the final ruling is. Mother Cell is out. But, uh, and the, I mean, Mother Cell definitely tried to avoid contact, but the umpiring crew here needs to do a better job of 
of making this call. You can't throw, I, I don't believe that the right call is to throw Mother Shell out because he tried to hop over the catcher instead of slide around the catcher. And right now, this is this is this could be a turning point. You lose your you lose your right fielder for possibly you would lose him for this game and the next game if he was thrown out as Connor Keel is heading to right field. The freshman call up from JV. He will be the right fielder. Several Mother Cell is going to sit down. And I don't know if they've thrown Mother Cell out or if they're if Coach Chuck Nesbitt is just voluntarily taking him out of the ball game. And I don't think that he's I don't believe he's been thrown out. I think we know. As uh, back in my day there was a couple of times when uh, Chuck Nesbitt kind of bartered with the umpires to say, I'll take my guy out as long as you don't throw him out of the ball game. Yeah, and it's a, it was a very interesting play because as the play at the plate happened, you could tell that Mother Cell was not intentionally trying to uh, nab their catcher in the head there with a spike. You know, completely inadvertent. There was no intention behind that. Certainly, Voorheesville, uh, hey, excuse me, has the right to argue that play, but there was no intention behind that whatsoever. Yeah, and that wasn't he wasn't trying to railroad the catcher, and that the whole, the the head coach for Voorheesville got right up in the umpire's face, and that's, I you know I think that that's honestly. Uh, and I mean he's going to be protecting. Yeah, I understand he's well. protecting his players as well, but that that's that's not the right you know situation to throw a player out of a game for, especially right now because if Geneseo advances and is able to hold Voorheesville off here in the top of the seventh, then you, you don't have him for the next game, which is really, it, it's not really fair to Geneseo, and it wouldn't be fair to Voorheesville in the same sense because that's not, you know, that's not really the right call, and now you send the freshman Connor Keel out to the, uh, the right field to uh, play this top of the seventh inning, and you know, we'll keep an eye on him. He's a very solid right fielder for the uh, for the junior varsity team here for Geneseo. I don't expect him to miss a beat. But uh, this is his first time seeing varsity action. And for the freshman, this is uh, one of the biggest stages. Absolutely, and your first uh, your first game that you're seeing varsity action. Oh, it's in the state semifinal. No big deal. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm sure he's absolutely ready to step into this game and uh, make a play here for the Geneseo Blue Devils. So as Kelly starts off the top of the seventh, the Blue Devils only need three more outs. That one is hit, fouled down the line. The count one and one. Yeah, and you had. Yeah, and a nice pitch there by by Kelly there to get the first strike of the inning and. He's going to need to keep fighting. This is going to be one of those innings. It's going to be a tough inning. Voorheesville is not going to go down without a fight. And then certainly after that play at home plate, they are playing with an added chip on their shoulder trying to win this one for their catcher. Yeah, and I, you know, and I understand that, but that's, you know, you got to protect your own teammates, but that was not by any means malicious and, uh, I think Genesee was getting a little bit of a bad rap for that, but that was a, that, I mean, the umpire, I don't believe he threw Mother Cell out, and if he didn't, that's the right call, but Voorheesville has to understand that that's, that's not, uh, not bad baseball. Yeah. Kelly, a little bit high, three and two. Yeah, and he he was very 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 close with that pitch. That was right about just maybe a little bit above the letters there for Voorheesville. And uh, Mike Young there gets a little bit of a break. And we'll see if uh, I mean this is a big pitch. If Voorheesville can get the first runner on, that's huge for them. And, if Geneseo can get the first runner out, that'd be huge for Geneseo as well. So the 3-2 again from Kelly. Just a little bit outside, and Young draws the walk, so the leadoff man in the seventh inning is aboard. Christian Singh. Number 12, third baseman, Christian Singh. And right here, Geneseo needs an out. Don't expect Singh to bunt, but uh, you know, wouldn't surprise me, but I don't I don't think right now you gotta be playing too far in. First one, Kelly throws the sing, a little 
little bit low. 1-0. and oh. Sing three singles. Kelly hasn't gotten them out today. Yeah, and uh, it's got to see fans are grumbling a little bit about the uh, about the, um, the the ball strikes calls here. And Kelly's not got a close one this inning. Ball nine, two and oh. Kelly now two and zero to sing. The two zero offering by three and zero. Big pitch here for Ben Kelly. He's got to come back with a strike. The 3 0 is high, ball four, and it's back to back walks for the first two men in the inning for Forneysville. Yep, and Kelly needs to focus in a little bit. He's overthrowing, he's getting a little bit tired. We've seen him throw quite a few innings in the last couple of games, and I would imagine here that he is going to, Chuck Nesbitt is going to just kind of. Try and help him relax here. And this is not a terrible, terrible situation for Geneseo, but they need to they need to limit the damage. Yeah, absolutely. They're starting to get out of the woods a little bit here with the five-hole hitter Chessery. Certainly, uh, you never want to walk the first two guys of the inning. That's what Kelly's done here, but that's done. That's over with. You got to worry about the hitter at the plate. Yep, and uh, you know. Kelly's the horse here for Geneseo. Don't expect to uh, don't expect to see Coach Nedbert take him out of the ball game, but well, they've gotten this far with Ben Kelly, and this game is going to end with him one of two ways. There's no there's no bullpen change in this one. No, nope, and uh, Geneseo just needs an out. And the Voorheesville batters are really getting they. They're really trying to work Kelly's rhythm here. They're trying to throw him out of a rhythm, and Kelly's throwing five straight out of the zone already. We'll see if he focuses in here and owns the strike zone. First one, a little bit high, one and zero. Oh. He's not. He's not getting the high strike. No pitcher has the whole game, so we'll see if he's a, he's he's finishing a little high right now. So we'll see if Kelly can make make a little bit of an adjustment. Genesee is going to need it. Next one in there for a strike. One and one. Just need it out right here. Just an out. And the one one from Kelly. Fouled back one and two. And he's finally ahead of it. Yep, and I'm honestly surprised that that uh, Voorheesville did not have the bunt on there. They have first and second and nobody out. Now the bunt is pretty much, is typically out of the question right here. So the one two offering from Kelly be a great time for a strikeout. Takes it high two and two. He just missed. He, that was very close. Two two from Kelly. Ball is popped up. Rue calling for it and makes the catch. Short center field being called off the shortstop. Rue puts the ball away for the first out of the inning. A big first out. Yeah, and I think they were calling infield fly on that as well with uh, runners on first and second and less than two outs. Right fielder Mike Hennessy. And now up to the plate for Voorheesville. You got Hennessy coming to the plate. Geneseo with a chance to end the game on a double play. More importantly, just get another out. Tennessee has walked twice and singled. Another guy that's given Ben Kelly some problems in this ball game. Well, Ben Ben Kelly doesn't like problems, so I'm sure he's going to try and make them go away right here. Dummies, a bunt takes it back for a ball, one and one. The man's going to Harvard. He's a good problem solver. We'll see if he can solve this problem at first and second and only one out and get the Blue Devils to the state might, title. Might, might, be the, uh, might be the hardest problem he's had to solve all year. The one one from Kelly. Fouled back, one and two. And just in the last two hitters, Joe, you can tell he's getting ahead of guys a lot better. Yep, his, his command has been a lot better in the last two hitters, and 
we'll see where he goes here. And I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes back to the breaking ball. But if you've got confidence in Valentine blocking the ball in front of the plate, maybe a wipeout breaking ball here from Kelly. And the 1-2 offering. Went high fastball. Hennessy is able to check his swing, and the count goes to 2-2. Two and two. Yep, and once again, a nice... Nice sequence here from Kelly. Was, you know, Geneseo just needs an out. Doesn't matter how they get it, just get an out. And the 2-2 from Kelly. Hit in the air. Out to the left fielder, Belfiore. He's got a beat. And the Yep, and uh, coming up to the plate now for for Voorheesville will be number 25. I believe that is Alex Minnick. He will be the pinch hitter for Jared Pejo, the catcher who is taken out at the end of that end. Yep, getting hit ahead by Trevor Marcel Spike. And with two down, it's last track for Voorheesville. Throw down to third. Safely, runner takes second as well. So now a base hit will win this game for Vorky. Well, uh, take the lead. They're the top. They're in the top of the seven. Oh, correct. Yeah, take the lead. Though. I apologize. Well, Kelly's gotten in front of Minix so far. He's going to need to make another good pitch here. Just takes one out. Nothing changes here for Ben Kelly. We've been, we've been doing this the whole ball game, getting out of hitters. As the Genesee State will get up here in Boom, in Binghamton. Chance to end the game here. Yeah! Oh, too high. There's no way we can reset, you know. And a chance here for Genesee. A one two count on Minnick. The one two from Kelly. Goes wild. Gutsy performance from Ben Kelly. Gutsy. That's the way I call it, and gutsy it is. And Geneseo is headed to the state title game. And what a game from the Blue Devils and Geneseo able to just. Pull it off at the end there. And gutsy doesn't even begin to describe that performance from Ben Kelly. No, absolutely not. That is about as gutsy as gutsy gets. Oh my God. Great outing. Once again, fans, you'll have to leave the field and be readmitted, so please do not leave any personal. We'll be back in a little while. Hopefully, a better internet reception.